driving her 3.7 liter Cyclone V6 Mustang. As you guys know, that is our specialty and my specialty with tuning, and we love doing these cars. So, Sarah, tell us about your car and what mods have done to it. Well, it's a 2014 uh, Cyclone, and engine-wise, no mods. It's going to be fun for me to climb in and out of this thing. She can slip right in, no big deal, but it is a full-on drift car, guys. But she's got a problem, and like she said, that's because it has stock power. Now, you know we know how to make power in these cars, so eventually we're probably going to help her out. We'll make sure that we have long tube headers, an off-road X-pipe. We'll get her one of our Mafia ported intakes, and we'll be making some real power. But for now, how much power do you think it's going to make? I, I have no clue, honestly, but 200... In the 200? Yeah, that's probably a, a safe guess. I'm going to guess that stock, we're going to make 255 rear wheel horsepower. So let's spin it and let's see what it does. All right, cool. All right. Cool, cool. about what I expected it to be. It made 259.9 horsepower and 254 foot-pounds of torque. Now that was in third gear, so the car had a little bit of mechanical advantage over the dyno. So we're gonna try and run it in fourth when we do the real tuning, but we'll do a third gear pull to compare. But for now, check out the graph. So we got our numbers. What do you think about how it did? I think it's not too bad. Yeah, 259, 254, that's, that's not too I bad. Yeah, I didn't expect that, honestly. I thought lower. It's been, well that was third gear, so in fourth gear it would show a little bit lower, but it's been enough power for you to be able to drift with it already, so we're going to have to fix a couple things though, because that throttle response is terrible. So, yeah, we're going to make it a lot snappier, a lot easier for you to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and get in the car, we're going to put our Mafia tune on it, we'll run it, see what it can do, and then we'll pull it off, let Sarah go drive it, so that we can make little adjustments for her driving. And then tonight, guys, we're going to be with Sarah at Palm Beach International Raceway, where she's going to be drifting the car. So we're going to do some trackside support and see if we can fine-tune that a little further to get it to drive exactly how she wants it to. So let's do it. We just loaded our first tune in the car. Now, this car is running on 87 octane, so keep that in mind for the numbers, 87 octane. We are convincing her to run some race gas or some 93. That way, she can have a more stable and a more powerful fuel in the car to make more power while she's drifting. But tune's loaded. Let's make a first hit, do some logging, see what we can do.
So here's our graph guys. So you can see when the car made, came in, it was cold, made 259 and 254. Now we dialed it down a little bit to get it to run a little bit smoother, but you can see we made some pretty good gains across the entire power band. And then of course opened it up so it went out to almost 7,300 RPM. So we gained a ton of power from five and up and really from as soon as we hit it, basically four is when we started gaining the power. So that's why Sarah is really gonna enjoy that and it's gonna be easier to drift because it has a lot more room underneath the curve and it's a lot smoother. Now once she actually puts some race gas in it or some 93 even, we'll actually be able to add some timing and then we'll be able to get the car with some more mods up to that 300 or a little over 300 horsepower mark. So make sure you guys check back for that because we're gonna be doing it soon. All right guys, so Sarah and I are in the car now. We're just gonna give it a, a little bit of a rip to see how she likes it, see if she can uh, wants more throttle response or anything like that, but should be good. show you that on the graph so you can see what it's like but I also upped the throttle response and we changed a bunch of other things just to make sure it was a lot snappier of a drive. Now Sarah and I just went for a ride what do you think? I love it I love it it's just not that slow getting into it or getting onto the throttle when you're trying to transition and stuff because that would make me spin out a lot with that so like hesitant now it's like it's going if you push it it's going like it's nice you know what it's going to do. <laughs> Hopefully it makes it more predictable so she can get some longer, maybe even some higher entry speed drifts going and hold them without having to just really modulate that throttle to keep it going. So fingers crossed that'll work. I think it will. Stay tuned guys because we're going to do some more modifications to Sarah's Mustang so we can get her some more power. I think she needs some E85 and we need to get it up to about 300 horsepower. What is up guys? We are out here at Palm Beach International Raceway. I'm waving this thing around like a baton. It's an umbrella because the sky is getting a little dark. It might rain, it might not rain. We don't really know, but it's drifting, so who cares? But we're out here helping and watching Sarah Harrell, so we'll watch her, see what she does, check out the clips. Always taking selfies. Did you say always taking selfies? Always taking selfies. Get them.
was our best. Go like, share, and subscribe on Sarah's channel and her Instagram, and we'll check you next time.